Hi everyone, my name is Lydia Ahern and I'm the coordinator for Nuffield Research Placements in the southeast of England. There I am at the bottom of your screen. This video is going to talk you through what a Nuffield Research Placement is and what it involves, why you should apply and how it will benefit you in your future, as well as how to apply. If you're a Year 12 student with an interest in improving your CV, improving skills that are transferable to university and the workplace, keep watching for more information. Nuffield Research Placements are managed across the UK by STEM Learning. The Nuffield Research Placement Scheme is highly prestigious and each year around 1000 Year 12 students from across the UK have the opportunity to participate. So, what does this placement involve? Here's an overview of what a Nuffield Research Placement looks like. It's a research work placement, uh, typically four weeks in length, and it takes place in the summer holidays after you finish Year 12. After you've applied and are accepted, we'll match you with a professional whose speciality matches your subject interest. So this might be a university, a research institute, a company or a voluntary organisation. You'll firstly undertake some modules to help you build your research skills. You're going to need these before beginning work on a project alongside your supervisor. The experience and skills that you're going to gain through the process can be used as evidence of development on UCAS and in CVs going forward. Um, Nuffield research placements are really highly regarded. You will produce a scientific project report and research poster of your findings, which is then presented at a local celebration event where you're also awarded a certificate of completion. There are other awards that you can also apply for um, using your same research project, but we'll come to that a little bit later on. It's worth mentioning here that with COVID-19 restrictions, placements have been taking place virtually. So you can complete your modules online as well as meeting your project provider throughout the process virtually. A Nuffield research placement is a commitment, but one that is definitely worthwhile. You can see in the visual here some of the benefits to you personally and professionally of taking part. These placements allow you to succeed in a supported environment where you will gain confidence in your own abilities. A Nuffield Research Placement opens many doors to exciting opportunities to use in your future, whether that is in applying to uni or in your future career. It is a competitive process, but as a coordinator, I'll be supporting you throughout from your upskilling modules to meeting your project supervisor and completing your research. Past Nuffield Research Placement students have completed a placement and gone on to show increased motivation during year 13, improved grades and successful entry to more competitive universities. Here we have a table that shows eligibility criteria. To be shortlisted for a placement, you must meet the eligibility criteria here. It's always worth checking with your parents or carers about some of these criteria. Also, with placements taking place in the summer, you'd need to be available for a minimum of four consecutive weeks during the school summer holiday period. In terms of cost, this is completely free to you. If placements do take place face to face, we'd make sure that you're placed with a local project provider and your travel expenses can be claimed. Also, you may be eligible to be paid a £200 bursary for your placement. Now that you know more about whether you're eligible, here's the link where you can apply. Let's take a look now at what a typical placement timeline looks like to give you a better idea of the exciting opportunities ahead. This is a timeline showing what would happen during the time period of your placement. The most noteworthy date right now is the application deadline, which is March 31st. Once applications have been received, they will be screened for eligibility and, depending on your subject interest, once you've been accepted, you'll be matched with your project provider before the summer. You'll then have an induction and spend the start of your summer period completing your study modules. These include research skills, communication skills and tools to support you going forward with your research project. Then it's time for your placement. You will work with your project provider or knowledge expert in conducting your research. This is where your skills will come into play and you will gain this amazing experience. After this, you'll complete your report and poster and celebrate your success. You'll be awarded and feel accomplished and qualified moving forward to your future learning and career. All very exciting. Let's find out some of the companies you could be working with. These are just some of the companies we've worked with here in the Southeast. However, we have lots of exciting partnerships in the pipeline for 2021. 
As you can see, there's a huge variety in companies here covering a wide range of subject areas. There is a project provider to tie in with your subject interests. Each year, the providers change, and these project providers offer projects for a number of reasons. One example being getting future students interested in a subject that they are passionate about, another being that they maybe need fresh eyes on their project. It's our job to match you with a project provider that suits you. Once you've successfully completed your Nuffield Research placement, there are plenty of opportunities to build on the achievement that you have gained. Here we have some examples including Crest Awards, Big Bang Fair, The Young Scientist Journal, Journal of Young Investigators and of course you'll always be able to write about your experience in UCAS personal statements and your upcoming CVs. So why not apply now? Here's what you'll need to apply. All of this is done using the link below or simply by searching Nuffield Research Placements online. Here are some tips for the personal statement section of your application. Stick to around 500 words. Less is fine, but try not to go too much over. Project providers will read your personal statement, so make it about yourself. Why are you interested in specific subjects and what sparked your interest? Ensure that you talk about a variety of subjects that you're interested in. Wider applications are more likely to be matched. Be confident. Why do you stand out? What makes you a good candidate? And make it personal talk about your hobbies, what do you do in your spare time. This could also line up with research areas of a potential project provider. And remember, Nuffield research placements are about research and the research process. So this is what your application should include and what you can look forward to. Thank you for listening and I look forward to receiving your applications. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via email or social media, as you can see here. I'm here to support you through this process and I look forward to working with many of you this summer on a Nuffield research placement. If you'd like more information about what research is, as well as what a research project looks like, check out our next video.